another year is about to end. And many of us believe that 2016 would be better than the previous one. We hope for some improvement in our condition. We expect to see some light at the end of the tunnel. Well, we saw some light for sure, but too often it felt more like a train coming full speed toward us in our direction. There were so many bad news in the media that I don't know where to begin. We have been submerged by images of the war in Syria, African-American men being shot in the streets of the U.S., and terrorist attack all over Europe. And don't get me started with you know who got elected in November in the United States. Now, on some days, those bad news were so present in our lives that it almost seems we have developed a sick addiction to the darker side of humankind. And this darkness is not only found outside, it's also present inside some of us. According to songs and carols we hear over, all over the places, this is the most beautiful time of the year. Well, it's also the most stressful one. Now, for many of us, the holidays are a cruel reminder of the burdens of one kind of another we carry too often alone. The bright lights in stores or outside only seem to make our soul heavier as we are grieving, strapped with deaths or dealing with family strife. On some days, we feel that we are walking in darkness, always about to stumble on one more obstacle. And here we are tonight, talking to one another, and you watch Maybe for a different reason. Maybe you're expecting a little miracle, even if we have doubts about those sort of things. Maybe you decided to watch, to hear what God has to say to us. Maybe you decided that find some comfort in the reading of the same old story repeated year after year in our churches. And maybe, just maybe, a few words caught you, that you have heard so many times caught your attention tonight. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. And maybe, just maybe, you you raise your head and heard the amazing news. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Wow. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Hey, this, this is not small news. Everyone who has a child, who, who even took care of a child for only a few hours, knows that everything changes when those little individuals enter into our lives. BC does not mean before Christ anymore, it's before child. There is a definitely before and after. Our beautiful routines are totally disturbed. Our schedule are unsettled. Uninterrupted hours of sleep become the most precious commodity. And through all of this, all of this, we discover that love is not divided, but is increased exponentially. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. When, when we look at the small child, sometimes we try to discern 
what would be his or her future? Would he become like a, an ever everlasting father who hold his loved ones in his arm? Would she become a wonderful counselor who walks with the people to offer wisdom? Maybe it could be a new prince of peace who reconciled the difference between the nations, or, or she could be an Emmanuel who touches and changes our lives. A tiny baby has been offered to all of us as a symbol of hope. This infant has come to cut the darkness surrounding us and to push back its limits, its boundaries. And because of this child, the promise of peace and the end of misery can be believed. Justice and righteousness can be at the reach of all. Exaltation, joy, and happiness can be a reality, experience every day. Because of this baby, another world becomes possible for those who are suffering, doubting, or ready to give up. In these times of darkness, we are told the words repeated so often in the Bible, do not be afraid. God is once again saying to us, you can trust me. I know it is difficult to believe on some days, but I'm still there. In your moment of concern, anxiety and fear, I have remained at your side. And as I did in the past, I'm ready to give you a sign once again today. I will send you a great light that will push back obscurity. Yes, my friends, we're not condemned to walk in the darkness forever because on this most holy light, a child has been born for us, a child given to us. And maybe this is the greatest news of all. Amen.